Hey everybody, I'm Doug from the product team here at Sophos and today we're going to be looking at how to onboard an Azure environment into Cloud Optics, which is a CSPM or Cloud Security Posture Management offering from Sophos. Optics is a multi-cloud, AI-powered, security compliance and monitoring solution with machine learning intelligence. It's been designed to address the unique challenges associated with securely deploying and managing public cloud infrastructure and it helps security operations and development teams work more efficiently to address issues in these distributed and dynamic environments. But enough from me, let's take a look at how to onboard your Azure environment into Optics. Okay, we're gonna to navigate to central.sophos.com. This is Sophos Central, the unified console for managing all your Sophos products. You'll need to have a central account and an Optics license. So under my products, you're gonna click on Cloud Optics. And upon logging into Cloud Optics, you'll be presented with a main dashboard showing a high level summary of alerts, feature highlights depicted with a short video, a to do list, which is an overview of security and compliance posture, and information about changes made in your environment. So, in the left navigation pane, we're going to scroll down to settings and click on Add Environments. In the Add Your Cloud Provider Environment window, click on Azure. There are two options available for onboarding an environment. The quick start option creates a read-only role in your environment and gets up and running within minutes. As part of today's demonstration, though, we'll be onboarding Azure using the full setup option that also exports and analyzes flow and activity logs using optics. Now, your Azure environment can only be onboarded using PowerShell in your Microsoft Azure portal. So to start the process, go to step one and click on copy next to the command. This copies the command to the clipboard. And you're going to open a new browser tab and browse to portal.azure.com. On the portal, click on the PowerShell icon located in the top right of the screen next to the search bar to open Azure PowerShell. Ensure that the PowerShell option is selected in the drop-down PowerShell window. In the Azure Cloud Shell window, right-click and paste the command that you copied earlier in step one. Press Enter to run the command. This downloads the Sophos Cloud Optics setup script. Then going back to Sophos Cloud Optics and Sophos Central, where the Add Your Cloud Provider Environment window is left open, scroll down to Step 2 and click Copy next to the command. Ensure that you at least have subscription owner RBAC privileges in the Azure subscriptions that you want to add. Navigate back to Azure Cloud Shell. Right-click and paste the command. Press Enter to run the command. On the first prompt for onboarding subscription, type Y and press Enter. In the second prompt, type Y and press Enter if you want to allow read access to all the subscriptions. And the setup process begins. Now this can take up to 15 minutes to complete. You may see some warning messages about some resources not being found as part of the validation checks. If the script keeps on running though, you can ignore these. As part of step three, which is optional and post the successful completion of the script, a link will be displayed for admin consent to allow Sophos Cloud Optics to read user profile data. Click on this link to grant the needed permission. Now going back to Sophos Cloud Optics and Sophos Central, navigate to Settings, Environments, and verify that your Azure environment is now displayed as being successfully added. So that about wraps it up for this video on how to onboard your Azure environment. Make sure to reach out to your Sophos account team if you have any questions about this or other topics.